What's up? How you guys doing? This is uh, Penthouse Fire Podcast with myself, John, and Dave. Yep. Keys player. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, we're good, man. <laughs> if you're on YouTube watching, what's up? If you're listening on the podcast, what's up? Um, yeah, today's episode, first we're going to talk about... First we're going to talk about the, um, the debate between whether you should book uh, music for your wedding like whether you should book it for your own personal taste or for your guests' taste. Mm. It's something that I've got kind of strong views about and you disagree with, so I think that's going to be an yeah, interesting debate. Yeah, I think we've got counter, that's going to be a good one. Uh, yeah. opinions, haven't we, on yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so, 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 yeah, when you book your band, are you booking for yourself or should you book for your clients, your guests' clients, your guests who are coming your to the wedding? Your friends and family, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go first then. What's, what's your take on this? Oh, we're going straight in. We're not even... I think so. I no, yeah. no uh, how you been? What you no, been up to? Just, just straight Bro, in. This is it. We're hitting it hard. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way. Oh, oh, I should okay. rewind a second. This is episode seven. This is seven. This is seven, Wow, man. we're racking them up. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's good. <laughs> cool. There we go. Episode seven. Episode seven. Palace five. So, what's your take on if you book a band for your wedding, are you choosing... Like, are you choosing the band and their music mm. and everything that comes with the band? Are you choosing it on your own opinion and, and obviously your partners? Mm. Or are you choosing it more for your guests to enjoy? I I don't think there's... There isn't a black and white oh, no, no, answer no. for right this. Or wrong. I think obviously it, part of answering that question depends on um, the kind of wedding you have in, in terms of... Are you bringing, like, have you got loads of family and it's going to be 150, 200 people? Or are you doing mm. a really small intimate affair where it's maybe only like 20, 30 and it might be like kind of a, an out of the way mm. location, maybe somewhere I guess, far I guess that affects thing. the band as well that you book, right? Yeah, that's very true. If, you, if, you, if, you unbook, if, you if you're booking a band, it's probably going to be a big group, to be fair. 150 people, 100 people, yeah. 70 people, something, something like, like that. that. 20, yeah. 30 people, maybe some live music, maybe just a DJ or something like that, or mm. just a smaller group of musicians, yeah. like three or four maybe. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess it, I don't know if it's as much my opinion on booking bands as it is just my opinion on, on weddings in general. Just because mm. I, I, I feel very strongly that it's your wedding. It's the most important day of your life, and I think too many people focus too much on um, you know what others would want or what they would prefer, and not you know what you want what do you want this is your day you're getting married you're the bride and groom everyone's here for you they're all here mm, to see you to support you in, in that, your most that one of the most important uh, moments in your life hopefully the most important moment if you don't get divorced mm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> fingers crossed guys until the next one positive <laughs> yeah <laughs> round two <laughs> um, so yeah I just I obviously I, again it's not you can't just be 100% I'm doing what I want. Fuck mm. you guys. Like, you know, you're bringing your friends and family. There has to be some sort of yeah. consideration. But I feel that you should put yourself f- first and then mm. factor in other people. Yeah, I mean... That's I, me personally. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to other things in the wedding, what do, the, what do, they, what do most people do? Obviously, we have a couple of friends that get married uh, later this year and they're both vegans, right? So mm. the food is vegan. Right, hundred percent vegan. Yeah, and not, we're matter. not talking like Greg sausage vegan yeah. sausage rolls. This, no, this is the hundred percent decent foods yeah, yeah, like yeah. that they've chosen. But you know, so if you're looking at food, for example, on that point, it's hundred percent their choice. Like it's it's what they favour, right? Mm. It's not. Oh, we have like some vegans, some people like fish, some like you know other people like meat and stuff, and yeah, then we're yeah, selecting yeah. for everyone. It's like this is our wedding. It's it's this, and you come no matter what you eat. And that's what you get, yeah. sort of thing. So I mean, there's there's like a slight moral kind of issue yeah, with yeah, that, totally, but I, I get totally. your point. I get yeah, your point. point yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think, I think it, maybe if we're going to a hundred and uh, like seventy, a hundred or more people at your wedding, mm. I think, and again, this is just my opinion, the the band and the music, the live music, if you're picking a live band, should be. Like, yeah, of course you want music you want. Like, your first dance, obviously, is, like, your choice. That's what you dance to yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And some uh, couples, like, you know, the bride wants to dance with her father as well, so whatever. But when it gets into the majority of the music, I think, um, it should be picked on, I think, what your guests are g- going to enjoy as well. Because, uh, like, from some of our experience, when we've played at these weddings, it's the bride and groom are so busy 
mm. some like a lot of the time. That's they're a very good point. They're not even in the room. Yeah. For most of the, that po- is, that is the really time, point, you know? So they're there for the start, first dance, cut the cake, first dance, whatever, and then they're for a few songs, and then after that, like, it, normally everyone else is there, but they have so much to do still in the evening, like. Yeah. Nine, nine times out of ten, you know, like they go meet some other people they haven't spent time with in the daytime, sort of thing. You know, they're sort of still running about almost, or but enjoying themselves, obviously. But you know, I would counter that yeah. and say, if you're booking us specifically, Penthouse mm-hmm. Five, Penthouse Five Band at, uh, at Penthouse Five <laughs> Band <laughs> on Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, YouTube, you know. But mm. if you're booking us, um, you know, obviously we can play a lot of loads of different styles and genres, but we've got our kind of niche is that you know we go for that uh 90s kind of early 2000s mm. kind of vibe throwback bit of a throwback kind of yeah that bit of like mm. you know a bit of neo soul and r&b and kind of a little bit of dance and garage and that kind of thing mm. um you know if you're booking for your guests you're bringing you know mum and dad and aunties and uncles and they're not going to listen to mark morrison and dr dre and stuff like that mm. so but w- but yeah. we st- you know so p- when people book us it's the it's their favourite music um, yeah it's, but it's, you, yeah, you, you, that. you book that band on I the assumption that. that you know they're going to have a particular sound which mm. is my favourite as the client yeah but then you you there's the assumption with yeah. a good function you know what my, my, uh, my best mate he when I went to his wedding he had a DJ and uh, I think what, how he worked it and this is the same with the band as well you can you can because the way we deal with it with with uh, clients and stuff, you know, we we have our style and our sound and stuff. But there's nothing wrong with like if they want songs, like absolutely they can pick and choose artists, and take things out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I think what he did was he had a DJ and in the evening mm. before obviously the wedding and stuff they spoke bo- beforehand obviously. Um, but it was like they told him sort of like what style of music they like, mm. and then it's up to the DJ at that point to like filter that stuff in as well as playing from the experience he has of many many years of playing at weddings yeah, like yeah. hundreds of weddings a year uh from his experience what goes down well right so it's like i have the, all this experience and that this is the music that i know works time and time again and probably sees different crowds and stuff like what, what we do as well mm-hmm. you know we see different age uh of of clients and, and people at these weddings so we know what goes down well m- like 90 percent of the time so we know what will work, but then you filter in a little bit, or like, you know, just under half maybe of, of what the client likes and tastes and stuff, you know? So it's, it's a rough mix, you know? Yeah, Because if you I think it everything is they wanted, yeah. there's a, like... You're going to ostracize some other Yeah, you're going to ostracize yeah, yeah, so many yeah. people, probably. You I, know? I don't know if it should be weighted 50-50, though. I mean... No, I mean, I, I don't think, think I think what other people would like should be a factor... But it shouldn't be as big as. You don't think 50 50 on, no. on their side? On the, on the no, not in my side. opinion. I mean, I suppose the, the, the only one, one example I would put to your point to what mm. you're saying is if you go too far, like just what I want and not other people. My mum and yeah, dad went extreme. to. My mum and dad went to a wedding um, and the people getting married were probably mid 30s. And as part of the live music, it was an act where it was a saxophone player and a guy on like bongos percussion and oh, then they played the that. track and it was like like a proper garage set mm-hmm. um and uh so you would you enjoyed it or you would have well i wasn't it, it yeah. was just my mum and dad but you they were saying <laughs> my, my, my mum and dad yeah. were like you know what the music this? was rubbish it was mm. you know the, because the, the bride and the groom and all of their friends mm. uh that they brought absolutely loved, loved it. it it was like the best thing ever they yeah. were going mental but then and i can imagine you know, We'd yeah. like it. Oh, yeah. You know? and, uh, but, you know, some of the mums and dads were like, this isn't for me, it's not really my vibe, so they weren't really sure. joining in. So it's like, I understand why mum and dad were like, oh, I didn't like the music. It's like, if it's not your cup of tea, then mm. that's fine. But, you know, yeah. you, you sh- it's, you know, they so they enjoyed, you know, the, their, the night of their wedding with their mm. closest friends that they, you know, grew up and known for years and yeah. years and years. Should you be... You're, no. ostr- you're almost ostracizing everyone else, like like the older generation, right? That party, but by by having that selected music. So would it have been know? better? Would it have been better? And this isn't a right or wrong. No, I'm just asking you. But would it have been better if they had a function band that just did 
you know, Brian. Yeah, they should have hired Penthouse Five. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah, yeah. Rookie Always era. <laughs> <laughs> but right. like, you know, it, what if they'd have hired in a band where all the mums and dads and uncles and uncles were loving it, mm. and, and all of their closest thing. friends yeah, were like, completely. "Nah, not for me." I think the answer to that is it depends on how. What's the larger percentage of the people that you're bringing to that wedding? So if you're bringing mostly aunties, uncles, grandparents, like, yeah. and then everyone else, if the if the mo- most of the people that come into your wedding are older generation, and you only have a few young people there, or people your age maybe, still hire parents five. Yeah, still hire yeah, us. Yeah, absolutely. But um, you know what I mean? Like, maybe that's the question. Maybe that's the question really to decide. Th- on yeah, what, that's on that's how a you very go ahead. It. Yeah, yeah. Because like we played a wedding in France and. The couple, obviously, their favourite music was most of our repertoire, right? Yeah. That style. Mm. But then we got there, everyone was pretty much that age. You know, it was like yeah. it was either 20, 30, 40, and even the older people there, like, enjoyed it as well. But they were the minority of people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the, yeah. the range of people there were, like, 20, 30, 40. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I think it probably comes down to that, really. Yeah, that's, that's a very good what's, point. What's yeah. the big percentage of the people... They're going to be there, mm. you know, younger people, middle age or older, you know, and then I think you have to choose, I guess, on that maybe. I don't know. I mean, uh, okay, let's say, let's say you're getting w- married. Yeah. Um, 100 people come to your wedding. Yeah. Uh, let's say it's a, a 50 50 split of friends, your mates, your mm. age, and then your family and relatives. Mm. Like Definitely ain't gonna be that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay, just hypothetically. Mm. So, you know, are you hiring? Would you have live music? I have Penthouse wedding? Five. <laughs> you, you, you Hire Penthouse Five. You have me five. working on your wedding day. <laughs> oh, For man. sure. I thought you were my friend. I'll pay you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Okay, so my wedding, 50 50, young and old. Um, I've seen this a lot of times, and this is something we've got coming up this year as well, where. Um, it's kind of 50-50 almost. Um, and I, I've been told ahead of time, right? Mm. As, as the person that speaks to the clients, right? And what they, how they work it is they want certain kinds of styles of music early in the night. So, so every set one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, the and as it goes on, the older people are leaving and the younger people stay around and then it gets a bit more into their sort of style. Okay. So that's another way to work it, you know? And mm. that's probably the way... To, it all depends on, I think, who's coming to your wedding and the type of person you are as well, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. What's your style? What's your taste and style of music? Is it garage and hip hop? And well, like that's the thing. There's, there's certain like genres niche. that are, will marginalize a bit more than others. Yeah. But I mean. But it's not that you if, can't have that in it. No, but I, I think if you're hiring a band, like a four or five piece or more, mm. if you want brass section or whatever, I think if the band's good enough, mm. even if it is a bit of a niche genre that they're doing if the band's good enough and entertaining enough mm. then oh, for they'll, sure. they'll, they'll yeah, it won't yeah, be yeah. an issue yeah so you know that's kind of that feeds into my point yeah. like I, I would pick the music that i want um and i would pick a, I, obviously i'd want a good band i mean i'm music, music, yeah, yeah, music yeah. myself so I'd, I'd want to i'd be quite picky with the band yeah and i would expect the band to have the experience and the skills mm. to be able to drag up people of all ages, even yeah, if the yeah. music is a bit I mean, more particular. Entertainment is entertainment at the end of the day, right? Exactly. Like, it's good is good. Mm. Like, that's as simple as it gets. Yeah. Like, with, with the example with the sax and the percussion, like, that was very, like, mm. it's like hard garage music. So right. that, it's like, it's good. You 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 almost you're finding a losing battle to, mm. to drag like, an older generation yeah. up to it. So maybe that's like an exception. a bit more of a yeah hardcore yeah. kind of circumstance. But if if you're playing, if it's a live band, you know, if you're talking about you know drums, guitars, singers, sax, keys, whatever you want, lots of keys, keys are the best. <laughs> um, you know, y- yeah, I would expect them to be good enough to drag any people up so that would that's why I wouldn't mm. worry too much about the music that I'd be picking I'd be picking it this is the kind of music I want and I know that they should be good enough to bring everyone up mm. yeah so. no, that's a fair point man yeah yeah fair point yeah I think it just comes down to a lot of different things yeah really, there's, there's lots it? of factors lots yeah. of variables what's your style of music and of course if you're the bride and groom you want that music included mm. right um and then it's the whoever else you ask. Ah, this is what I was going to say. So oh, yeah. it comes down to as well. Another point would be 
Um, oh, it just slipped on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Rewind. Nah, it's all fresh, man. It's all, it's all live. That's it. Um, no, what was I going to say? Um, oh, I can't remember what I was saying now. You carry on. You have no on. idea. Yeah. Should we move on for now and you can come back? Yeah, we can come back to it. We've we got, we got some other things to talk about. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's, about, that's pretty much that, right? Like... Just to summarize that anyway, it, yeah. it, it comes down to you know what your tastes of music are, mm-hmm. uh, the, y- who else you're inviting to the wedding as well. That's it. Got it back. <laughs> 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 He's caught it. <laughs> so it's it's uh, also when it comes to weddings, the way I, I mean I guess a lot of this stuff, all your decisions on on your wedding. Mm. I don't know personally, but I would imagine right from the flowers to the food to the venue to who you invite, right, to everything, uh, what you dress like and all that, like, at the end of the day, don't most people want all their friends and families to come away from that and be like, that was a good wedding, that was an amazing day, like, I came away from my best man's wedding, uh, my best mate's wedding, <laughs> uh, saying to a mate, like, that was an incredible day, like, that was an incredible experience, mm. like, obviously, for me, I was, like, real close to him because I was the best man, so the experience for me was like amazing, you know, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to be with, there with him and experience it and be there for him. But everyone else was like, you know, that was great. That was good. Oh, you remember that? Like the speech, blah, blah, blah. Mm. All that sort of stuff. That's kind of the thing you take into account as well, right? Like being a bride and groom, like you want everyone there to enjoy it, right? So that comes into yeah. it as well as, as, as well as your own opinion of my music tastes, like, and all the rest of it. And what do we want there? You kind of want everyone else to enjoy it as well. You don't, you don't want to ha- uh, have the end of the night, which is it's like the fireworks at the end of the day, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's like the wedding day should be climax. It should be like get like excited, and it's like, uh, and then right at the end, that reception is like bam, the big like, celebration, you know. Yeah. And 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 uh, but you don't want to have music that is all about you, and everyone else is now like just like deflated, like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, uh, th- yeah, there is a compromise there. I just think you, you shouldn't spend you shouldn't spend the whole day trying to please everyone else no, because no, it no, is your all. day. It's I think at the end so of the day it's a balance. Yeah, it's a balance of I everything think, yeah. we just discussed. Like yeah, it is for yourself and for your guests mm. at the end of the day. Anyway, moving on. Topic number two in this episode. Uh, what we're we going to talk about? Let's have a look. Notes, notes, notes. How do you hire a band you've not seen live? So how how can you trust them basically? Yeah, how you don't know so who they are. Yeah, so you're looking for a band for your wedding, and you've not seen them live, but you found them on the internet. Yeah, or and it is a common issue because a lot of bands that focus on on weddings and events, they're not playing at public venues. It's so you all can't private see them live. gigs. So yeah, yeah, it's very difficult to see them perform. So it's it's it's, it's quite a good topic because it's an issue that I can imagine loads of people. Yeah, uh, it's a quite a common problem. Like Definitely. you know, uh, not just bands, probably DJs as well, and other yeah, maybe entertainment acts and stuff. You know, I don't know what else you want at your wedding. A but lot of the top bands or, or, or bands where you've put a lot of money into it, mm. um, you know, you might have a very glossy, high production video, mm. but. You know, is that paper in over the cracks? Like, how can you tell mm. if they're really good or not? Yeah. Um, I mean, we haven't discussed this obviously prior, but uh, no. my first thought is uh, reviews are a good yeah. place to start. So, it's for um, anything in the world nowadays. That's kind of yeah. how everything's judged, isn't it? I mean, I, you buy stuff on Amazon, I look at the reviews, and it's got to have, and the more reviews it's got, I mean, obviously, the better, and the more stars it's got. And then, yeah, you know, even if it's five stars, if it's just three people, you're like, hmm, that's yeah. probably like the mates of the guys who <laughs> made <laughs> yeah. it. You know? If it's got a thousand <laughs> reviews and it's like four and a half stars, then you know it's going to be good. Exactly. Which reminds me, if you're watching on YouTube or if you're listening, onto the podcast Segway. <laughs> if you listen on Apple or Spotify or wherever please leave a review of this podcast if you've listened this far if you watch the episodes you know we love doing this and mm, uh, it's always good fun and we want to hear from you and obviously the ratings and stuff that will help us anyway but anyway carry on the, the reviews uh, the yeah the start. reviews are massive I think that's for anything nowadays you you know the, the more reviews there are and obviously the more positive reviews mm. within that um, you don't want a thousand two-star reviews, <laughs> but um, no. yeah, that that's a, a, a kind of the primary example of how to to judge a band. Yeah. Um, what I would say also, uh, if you're looking at videos, um, kind of keeping an eye on, um, you know, how close to the video is it to 
real life? Like, are they properly pretending and they're not playing a thing, or are they actually doing it? Is it a live video? Like me personally, mm. um, the glitz and the glam videos and the high production is great to show off that you know you're professional and it's mm. a very professional, high class service. Yeah, but. I don't think I would book a band without there being some sort of live videos. Mm. And I, I, I'm much less, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, 4K, um, you know, Surreal beautiful. Sound. Yeah, I just, <laughs> just want to see what they actually do live, what they yeah. look like, what kind of energy they have on stage. So yeah. as well as the, you know, the fancy show reel is important. And it is important it because is important, it sets man, you apart sure. yeah. from the average... Is, I think the thing with the show reel, and it's a good point what you bring it up, mm-hmm. but I think the thing with the show reel is that if, how, however good that is, shows the effort the band is putting in to something that they believe in, right? That's, yeah, that's a very good point. So yeah. if you find a band with a pristine show reel, like, yeah, you have to do your digging, like, as well as that, but they're not like, half The, the amount of money that costs and, and, time and effort that goes in it's like it's so much yeah so much and these bands probably been saving and saving to spend on this stuff because it's constantly has to be updated right like every year or, or like yeah you know, every year 18 months or max you, you know? need to you need to prioritize yeah. Fresh, don't you? yeah yeah you need the new music or whatever um mm. but yeah i mean that's what i would say from if you're going to watch yeah their professional footage or their their video clips and stuff the better that is, I would say, the more invested they are in what they do. Yeah, and and that would suggest the quality. Like you're yeah. not gonna invest all that time but, and money if yeah. you weren't great. But, but also but. then go around and there should be live footage as well of even if and and obviously live footage it comes down to like it's a it's probably a little bit less of that high quality because you know not time and money has been spent into that. It's a camera, a gig probably or something like. That. Yeah. But you have to take it into account. You're looking at that video for the purpose of what's the crowd like and what are they like live performing how the interaction is yeah. between the crowd and the act right yeah i think i'm I suppose I'm, I'm just speaking there. with my musician's hat on i think me yeah, personally sure. yeah uh you know um there is the glitz and the glamour but it's like i want to see the what you're like in real life yeah, kind yeah. of thing um, so I, I completely you know that, that's an amazing point that you made and it's extremely valid um yeah i was just looking at it personally Mm. If I was home, I'd, I'd want to see a little. And again, mm. even if it's just a little Instagram video, thirty seconds long, um, doesn't it? Just I just mm. want to see what what you're like in real life. That's yeah, me yeah. personally. Um, so what else do you think? Reviews, the pro footage, mm-hmm. and also and try and find footage, some live footage possible. that might be a bit grainy or whatever, but it's about a different thing. Mm-hmm. Um, what else do we have? Maybe recommendations as well. If someone's recommending you a band, that's another good thing. I guess, like, because word of mouth is pretty much what this industry is built on, really. Yeah. Uh, there's now social media that's in the game, and and advertising online and stuff that we do and stuff as well. But that's just like another piece of the pie, of. But I would say a big chunk of that is that word of mouth that uh, you know, and if it's someone you trust as well, obviously, like mm. you know, that's that's an important thing as well. If you tell me there's a good band, I'm gonna trust you because, like. I, b- I believe the stuff you say about certain things, yeah, right? Yeah, like music yeah. and that. If someone else tells me something, I might not believe him. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. anyway, that kind of thing. Um, I think another thing that is worth it is it's more and more pertinent nowadays than it than it has ever been before. Is I think um, if there is a, a social media presence, or then you know that's the best way to see what they've been doing recently. Uh, you know, yeah. if they've got an Instagram page with like two pictures of the last two years, then it's like, okay, well, what what have they been doing? How many gigs have they done? Are they legit? Whereas if you go on, um, for example, the at Penthouse Five Band Instagram page, mm-hmm. you know that we're busy and we're putting the work in and we're doing regular gigs, we're producing videos all the time. Mm. It's another it, like the the fancy show rule. It's the time and the effort that we're putting in, yeah. uh, and it's another way to display. You know, these guys are serious about their craft and yeah. they're busy and they're working and they're producing lots of content. Mm. Um, so, you know, nowadays that's another way to to kind of show how serious people are about stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point as well. Mm. Really good point. Um, so what else? How do you trust that band? Um, I think that the, the, uh, other than that, once no. once you've chosen them, once you've looked at the videos, I, mean think, that's, I that's really like that. That's all you can choose, right? It, w- that's like without seeing them in person that's all you can go on is like reviews of pre- previous clients yeah the footage whether it be pro or like you know kind yeah. of just a camera a gig for the live sort of stuff 
and and social media side of stuff. Online. But yeah. w- once you've made that decision, I think then it's about the communication with for the band. sure. Yeah, that's yeah. a big thing as well. Because yeah. if you're speaking to someone who's uh, really clear and friendly and is mm. willing to answer any questions and has given you helpful tips and is trying to be as helpful as possible to make your you know as the client your job is mm. easy. You don't have anything to worry about. That's going to go a long way as well. Yeah. Um, let's let's do something right now. If anyone's watching this video, and if you are like looking for a wedding band, if you have watched this far, let's just chuck in some things at the end because another thing you could do at this point, if you're choo- if you're this far into choosing your band, what you could do is call them, call the band member, yeah. the ba- the band leader, whoever it is, give them a phone call, and like you say, speak to them, hmm. and maybe we could like, maybe we could give them a few questions to ask, and depend on some answers. Do you know what I mean like? If someone's like, oh, I'll get back to you or... You know Being I mean? like, flaky. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Then, then, you know, we'll give you some tips, right? Mm. So, what kind of questions would you ask you phone up? I suppose you're the um, you're the, uh, the the guy in charge of all the emails and the contacts for us. Mm. I mean, what are the, the common questions that you get asked? Um, I mean, the first question is like, are you, is your band available for this date and this mm. time? Um, what was after that? Uh, it's, it's questions about how things work like what we offer so one would be like we offer a laptop dj service right so we play the live sets with the band and then we also offer in between our sets before and after uh this laptop dj service so we're playing music continuously Mm. and then people just ask me how that works like do we give you music beforehand that we ask you to play or are you stay do someone stay there and do you like take requests and stuff like that Mm. stuff like that so um and then it can be things like uh, maybe like what equipment do we provide um, so like the sound equipment the lighting equipment or the musical equipment um, what else is there a good one would be uh, a, good, a good question to ask a band would be do you have a PLI certificate a PLI certificate so that's public liability insurance and that's every band has to have that if you're performing at a wedding you have to have it because it insures you for sort of any mishaps that mm-hmm. might happen with equipment and obviously people there and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's a good one to ha- uh, to ask for. Um, obviously, you can just ask for that and they should, like, you know, there's not any questions about it. You should send it to you and then you can just check the date on it, make sure it's a yeah. date or something like I that. I suppose, yeah, if you ask no. that question, they're like, uh, yeah. then that's a bad time. Yeah, there's also a PAT certificate as well, P-A-T certificate. That's just testing the equipment. For the electrical so the, equipment. Yeah, yeah. So, the te- uh, so, like, you know, the band's going to go to a venue, they probably... They may have been to it, but more than likely have never been to before. And they're plugging that equipment into the sockets of this venue and you don't want it to explode. Right. So like that's the point point in th- having that certificate as well. Yeah. Um, and that's something you've got to get done annually as well. Uh, so that's another thing you could ask for the PLI certificate, the PAT certificate. Um, you could, I don't know, ask them what they provide as well in service wise. So as well as um, the questions, it's, it's just... It's the kind of feedback you get. You know, how long does do they take to respond? Are they giving you like a quick one sentence answer, or they're yeah. being friendly and thorough? And yeah. you know, the more information they're providing, the more helpful that's going to be. Yeah. If you are and asking, and and also sorry, on that po- sorry on that no. point, it's also they should be asking you questions. So you're the client, right? And I'm the band, and you want to book me, like you want to book my band. Like, there's questions I need to ask you as well, right? So I need to ask you... Um, yeah, you're example. the expert because yeah, you're I'm, the band. Yeah, I'm the expert. So you, you more than likely don't really know all this because you've never been married before. You've never yeah, been the band or maybe. Yeah. So you there's things you, I would need to ask you. So that's another sign, right? You need to make sure that uh, this band is asking you questions. Is, do you have uh, a, ve- a wedding planner? Things like that. Like, mm. do you have contact for the venue and stuff? Are there sound there restrictions sound li- at yeah, the venue? Yeah, sound restrictions, yeah. sound limiters and stuff. That's the kind of thing you need to look out for anyway. Yeah. You know, that's that when, when dealing we'll with the... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to wrap it up. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're on YouTube, thank you for listening. If you're on the podcast, please, please uh, just drop us a review. Or if you're not reviewing on the podcast, make sure you drop a comment in the uh, comment section on yeah. YouTube or Facebook or wherever we're posting this, Instagram. And give us a follow. And uh, let us know your thoughts and what else you want us to talk about. This is Penthouse 5. Peace. See ya.